It's when the human heart becomes just sort of stagnant. It's just sort of this perpetual lack of care. I get through the day, I have nothing to look forward to. And thus, in effect, I become very burdened. What I would like to teach you today is the idea of this lethargic malaise that's coming over so many people's minds, their senses, and their hearts. And I recognize that many of you that are present are probably called to be aware of your emotions during this time. You yourselves are trying to remain vigilant, knowing that the evil one is prowling like a roaring lion. Rule one of St. Ignatius is for those people that are moving from mortal sin to mortal sin. I guess I would propose to you, what is the direction of your life? Are you falling back into sins? Are you giving up? Are you just finding yourself uniquely trapped again? Father Nault writes beautifully, this is the way you can begin to discern, and he calls it the demon of Achadia. First he says there's a certain interior instability. You're subject very much to the emotions, and the emotions are just kind of frizzled or frazzled or very, very um, limited, paradoxically, even though they're very much moving in the life of a person. Examine your heart if you have this experience of just this emotional instability that you're feeding. If you don't address it, folks, it's eventually going to create sadness. And so St. Ignatius outlines these three steps that I think are incredibly pinpoint during this time. First, to become aware. Become aware of your thoughts, feelings, and desires. Your emotions. How are you feeling? What is happening within you? Is there a feeling of fear or dread or doubt? Drill down into that. Where is that coming from? What is that place? Number two, you have to understand. Are these new emotions or are they things you've always run from? This is so profound. That things from the past are coming forward or even recent past or even relationship and they're coming up and instead of just simply confessing them away, God's inviting you to understand. Where do they come from? Have you just chosen to be busy or in avoidance so that you don't have to address these things that are evident within you? And lastly, we have to take action to receive or reject them. So clearly is St. Ignatius on target when he says we must take action, renounce them or accept them. What are the ordinary ways in which the evil one pulls you down? What are the ordinary times that he mocks you or isolates you? What is the typical window that he breaks into your emotions through? Let us seek to be holy today. It's not enough simply to listen to the talk. You must drill down deeper and understand more profoundly what the Spirit is saying in you.